Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for uh, the weekend. So, 15th, 16th, and 17th. Is that what it is? What's today? 14th. So, 14th, 15th, 16th, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm always at 17th, so we might as well go right to there, right? So, Friday to Monday. All right, so basically a weekend reading, okay? This is for whoever it resonates with. It's not going to resonate with every single person because it's not a private reading. Just going to see what comes up. I'm still going to do my daily vibes for the next couple of days. Unless something crazy happens. And then um, I'm still working on the Januaries. I'm going to do some more Januaries today. And if you are single, I did a sig signal singles uh, readings for our the elements, you know, fire, air, water, and earth. If you want to go and see those, if you haven't seen them yet, they're in the videos. I did those yesterday, so they are for December fifteenth to the thirty first. If you haven't seen those yet, but this is just a daily energy or an energy that I'm picking up on for the next few days. I'm gonna let those go. They came out so. These cards are bent. I don't know what the name of this deck is, so don't ask. Um, I've had this deck for a long time. My boxes are in a different spot. So. I don't know. It's bugging me. What's this? Cheese uh, and crow. Now I'm trying to think of the name of the deck, but I, whatever. Anyway, um. Spellcasters. I think this is Spellcasters. Anyway, somebody's releasing something that they have held on tightly, right? Letting it go. Removing an obstacle. Yeehaw! An obstacle is being removed. There's been a lack of drive, a, uh, a dip in energy. Somebody has a, kind of felt a little lethargic, fatigued, less than alive, right? I mean, kind of like, I don't have any energy. Somebody's energy has took a drastic dip. And now it's like they have no choice but to let something go because it's really sucked them dry. Something has, you know, really <laughs> clouded their vision and it has to be let go to find or to get or to bring stability and security into their lives. So this is a obstacle that is being removed that was holding somebody back from the complete abundance, right? The Ten of Coins. Somebody is taking their power back after it's been lost, you know? Power shift. Interesting. Ooh, well, yeah, there's been some pain, hasn't there? Oh, my God. Yep, there's been some pain, been some sadness, there's been some grieving going on. Hurt. Been some tears shed. And I think there's been some tears shed because somebody was holding some sort of grudge. I mean, that's what this is. They're holding on to something that didn't serve them. And there's a penalty for that. There is absolutely a penalty for that. So, Oh, somebody has been enlightened, eh? They've seen the light. I've seen the light.
they've been trying to protect themselves. Somebody's been trying to protect themselves, probably isolating themselves, staying, you know, trapped in their thoughts. But this, this staying trapped was really a self-protection tactic, right? Was, uh, they were subconsciously protecting themselves. I mean, it, this is like a crystal. Crystals are like for protection. And this is protection as well. So somebody, and they're right together. Somebody has been, you know, self-protecting. And really hurting themselves, you know. Trying to protect themselves from more pain, but causing themselves more pain. Interesting. Ace of Pentacles, woo! -hoo. Two of Swords, the mask is coming off. It's like somebody has been refusing to see in denial, trying to avoid the truth, and that shit hurts. You know the next card? When you are in denial, when you try to avoid, when you try to avoid the truth, somebody meant this is the, okay? The truth, the truth, the whole truth right here. I don't want to hear the truth. I don't want to see the truth. I don't believe the truth. I don't want to hear the truth. I'm in denial of the truth. Please don't tell me the truth. I don't want to know the fucking truth. And now, one, two, three. And now, the truth hurts. Because the truth can only be hidden for so long. Before the pain becomes so big that you can do nothing but accept it. The truth cannot be denied and it hurts. Denying it only prolongs it and in the end it's going to hurt more. So somebody is accepting the truth that they have denied. It's funny. Okay. I mean, it's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. But it's funny how we got the ace of swords, the two of swords, and the three of swords. The truth is... Abundance, happiness, stability, and security has been avoided because somebody didn't see an opportunity. Or maybe they did and they didn't want to. Who knows? They may have gotten involved with somebody who... who uh, held them back. I mean, this person is very needy. I'm sorry to all you fire signs, but it's the truth. In reversed. This person is often the other woman in a relationship. I'm sorry to say that, but it's the truth. It's because she acts and she or he acts impulsively. They tend to be a little quick, naive. And I mean, you look up the suit of wands, okay? Naive is definitely a trait. It's funny. It is really funny because of when I was taking my shower this morning, I was thinking about the queen of wands. And I don't, I mean, I have my, my best friend is the queen of wands, so I'm sure she ain't liking this. But anyway, um, because she doesn't want, and I'm sorry, best friend. She doesn't like to hear the truth and she does often jump. She leaps sometimes without being realistic. She's impulsive. She doesn't like to be alone. And sometimes she makes impulsive decisions and then she, you know, gets her heart broken because of it. 
So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, we have somebody here that has been in denial and pretending, trying to avoid their true feelings, okay? Trying to wear a mask. It's like refusing to see the truth about where their abundance lies. And there could have been this other woman or man that held them back from their golden opportunity. Now, this other woman doesn't have to be a fire sign or other man. It can be any sign. But I'm just saying the traits of this queen of wands in reverse or queen of wands or whoever. The trait of this person in reverse is somebody that is naive. Low confidence. Low self-esteem. And this could be the this is, could be you. This could be you. This could be me. This could be anybody. This could be somebody that lacked self-esteem, lacked self-confidence, lacked self-worth, and just has poor, poor, pitiful me. Anyway, there's been a lack of abundance because of somebody's naivety. Naivety. Somebody was naive. They made the wrong decision, and now they have to live with it, and it's painful. There was probably a third-party situation. Absolutely, there probably was. And now somebody is accepting the truth and probably wanting a reunion, because this is a reunion. Okay, so I had to push pause for a minute. I took a water pill this morning, <laughs> so apologize for that. Anyway, um, too much information, I'm sorry. Anyhow, uh, okay, releasing an obstacle, the other woman. Somebody is removing an obstacle. Somebody is releasing the other woman. I don't know who this reading is, is for. They're releasing the other woman, but the problem is here is that now they've hurt somebody, the other woman, and the person that, you know, they had abundance with. There's been a lot of hurt involved with this person who was greedy and selfish, who was trying to hold a grudge, trying to prove a point to whoever their golden opportunity was by involving another woman. Now the other woman is hurt and the golden opportunity, well, we'll talk about that one in a minute, but we have this person that was trying to avoid living a lie and now this is a stressful, painful decision. They're in the process, somebody's in the process of, you know, accepting the truth about their abundance, their security, their their relationship, their you know where they want to go. They want a reunion, but they involved another person, and now they're probably coming up with a plan. They've been enlightened. They're seeing the light. Now they're trying to come up with a plan as to how they're going to get this opportunity back. But it, the problem is, is we have a lot of pain here. We do. We have pain that's been caused by somebody trying to, you know, prove something. Greedy. Selfish. Didn't care who they hurt. But it looks to me like... They may not have cared who they hurt. But this person that caused the hurt is hurting too. Because <clears throat> we have three people hurting. Not just two. Not just one. All three people involved in this situation are hurting. 
because of somebody's greediness, selfishness, and another person's naivety. Somebody is in the process of making this painful, stressful decision about the truth. About where their abundance lies. And they're removing some sort of obstacle that they held on to out of selfishness, ego. And, you know, there was a third party situation and now it looks like somebody is taking the power into their own hands and probably cutting somebody out. Because they can't pretend. They can't avoid this. They can't avoid the truth forever. You can never avoid the truth. They've been enlightened. you got to see what's mirroring each other. Somebody has been enlightened. They've become aware of where their security and their stability and their long-term potential is. Unfortunately, there's been a, another person involved who's going to get hurt because of it. Or is probably already hurting. So, so the lesson here is to not jump. And I'm going to say this. If somebody has gotten out of a relationship, or they're still in a relationship and they've just gotten out, or whatever the case is, if it's fresh, you are being naive to think that this person has healed. That this person is ready. You're only going to cause yourself pain if somebody, if the person that you're dealing with has not healed. You can't skip the healing process. You can, but it ain't going to work out. So we have this, this new opportunity here. This new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody has become aware of this new opportunity. Or, or, or of, the op, of the golden opportunity, okay? Because this is somebody has become aware of the golden opportunity. Through hurt, through pain. And they can't ignore it. They can't deny it. It's the truth, you know? I have to remove this obstacle of this other woman, I'm sorry, or this other man who I think it's a woman, but whatever, I have to remove this obstacle. I understand that it's going to cause some pain, but I have to remove this obstacle to get my golden opportunity. The opportunity that I know that I want. Somebody, this is a reunion. Somebody wants a reunion. They want to bring happiness back to their lives. And the only way to do that is to be honest and be truthful. And drop something that doesn't serve you anymore. So somebody's in the process of making that painful, stressful decision to go after their abundance, to have the stability and the security that they've been thinking about. It's caused them a lot of pain. So I feel like this is a, a weekend where somebody is removing some obstacle, accepting the pain, and heading towards a new opportunity, a better opportunity. But whoever was involved in this third party situation because it absolutely was. All three people are hurt. And whoever caused this pain. <laughs> is going to need to take their mask off. Is going to need to. Is, is thinking about ex speaking the truth. They're thinking about it. They're in the process of making a, a choice. Between two. Oh, bastard. 
So the devil, yeah, somebody was driven by greed, ego, lust, lies. Time has run out. Time has run out. Somebody's about to fall. The devil brings in good things, right? The devil brings in something that is very, very <laughs> alluring, right? Oh, this looks so good. There's so much attraction here. Somebody was lured in. By a lie. It's going right here. And now there's a price to pay. There is a price to pay. For allowing yourself to be tempted by the devil. By being naive. By acting recklessly. By letting your ego and your pride and your own addictions and your own selfishness take over. Because you know what that has done? You know what the devil has done? Stolen energy. Caused illness. Caused lack of desire to, to, to even get up in the morning. This person has stolen your energy. At first it was so good. The devil brings in addiction, drugs, the whole night. And what happens? At first it's so great. Right? At first it's like euphoric. Right? It is. And then... And then you got to come down from this lie. Somebody's hit rock bottom because they chose. My ear's ringing. Because they chose the wrong path. Because of ego. The devil is really stemmed by ego. That's the main meaning of the devil. Ego. The main characteristic. Ego. So anyway. We have somebody that can no longer avoid what they have tried to escape from. The time has run out. Whoo! Ace of Wands. <laughs> oh boy. There's a new opportunity. Somebody wants a new beginning. Some There's an opportunity for a passionate new beginning here. And it's going to be very tempting. Very, 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 very tempting. And now we have this. You can't, I mean, come on now. You need to be realistic here. Is whoever this person that, don't be naive. Don't be naive. Okay? You gotta be, you can't pretend this looks real fucking good. I mean, yes, it does. Oh, God, yes, it looks good. There's a reason the stories come out the way, the way they do. Don't be naive. 
Don't wear the mask just because it looks so good. Somebody's going to come in with a passionate offer. It's going to be passionate. It's going to be like, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Make sure you don't got your blindfold on because it looks so good. Because it's a lie. Somebody could be trying to prove a point to whoever, somebody, okay? Whatever. In the end, it's just going to cause pain. I'm sorry to tell you. Don't let looks deceive you. Make sure you look beyond the surface because somebody's going to tempt you with some a new passionate, passionate beginning. Oh, baby. You're so hot. You're so sexy. It's a lie. It's a temptation. It's a test. It's a test of your security. It's a test of your stability. It's a test of your... Awareness. Somebody is going to be presented with a new passionate beginning from Satan. Be careful. We're going to get one of these. Not only does this person want to have sex with you, okay, they also want your money. That's truly the devil energy, okay? Two fell out. I don't want to, so we're just going to keep going. Oh, God. It just came to me. Remember I said I took a water pill? I'm releasing the toxins. There's a toxic situation here that you are going to be tempted with. You want to let that shit back into your life? Be prepared to shed some tears when it's over. Unknown territory. I don't think we've ever had that one. Yeah, you're exactly where you need to be. Don't fuck it up. Unknown, by temptation, by lust. I'm telling you what, there's this is a lusty opportunity. Yes, it is. But is it real? Doesn't look like it. Unknown territory. Be careful. I, mean, I don't think I've ever had this card, so I don't know what it says. You are exactly where you need to be. You are exactly where you need to be, even if you're not consciously aware of it. Okay? Even if you don't have all the answers, keep going forward with your heart open. If you can't see clearly ahead and don't know where you're headed, keep moving forward. Do what feels right, even if your brain doesn't agree. Your heart always knows. Follow your heart. Instead of dismay because you are in unknown territory, celebrate that you are expanding and growing by leaps and bounds. Sometimes the traveler feels lost. A lack of confidence or sense of being in unknown territory. It can seem that others know more, know more or are more qualified. However, it can be this very feeling of not knowing that allows one to step outside the bounds of convention and reach beyond the perimeters of self that have been imposed by family, friends, society, and religion. 
It can be a very good thing. It can help you find yourself. Cherish those moments of not knowing. It's often during those times that the greatest revelations occur. Trust that all is well. You are right where you should be. Every, this has all happened for a reason. Can you pass this test? Can you? Can you? Somebody wants a reunion. But this person is like driven by the devil. Be very, 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 very careful. I don't know who this reading is for. Good luck.